Attain to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my loneliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and with your spirit. Today in the Gospel, Jesus Christ encounters a scribe who is asking him a question about which of the Ten Commandments is the greatest. And Jesus Christ tells him that the most, the greatest commandment is to love God and oneself. For those moments that my brothers and sisters, we have fallen short of the glory of God, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my ways, in what I have done and in what I have felt to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep us from us. We humbly beseech you all that might harm us and grant all that works for our good. Who lives and learns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Be beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains like a criminal, but the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are faithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about ways. This serves no useful purpose since it harms those who listen. Be eager to prevent yourself as acceptable to God a workman who causes no discourse, imparting the word of truth without deviation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way 
He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. All the path of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is, is worthy more than all burnt offering and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw, then he answered with understanding. He said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, a scribe asks Jesus, which is the first commandment of all? Very interesting question indeed. And Jesus replies, it is to love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's interesting to see how these two commandments go together. First of all, the commandment to love God with your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength is pretty straightforward. Nothing can hold us back from loving our God. Every part of our being must be fully dedicated to the love of God. The second commandment says, you must love your neighbor as yourself. How do I love myself? The answer to that is found in the first commandment. First and foremost, we love ourselves by loving God with all we have and all we are. Loving God is the best thing we can do for ourselves and therefore is the key to loving ourselves. The connection then between the two commandments is that loving our neighbor as we love ourselves must mean that everything we do for others should help them to love God with their whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is done by our words, but especially by our actions. So today we have to ask 
ourselves. How deep is our love for God and our neighbor and how well do we let the love of God to shine forth for others so that the world can see that we are children of God. Amen. Our merciful Father, he is the prayers of all who call upon his name. Let us bring our prayers before him. We pray for our church. May the Holy Spirit help us in never ceasing to proclaim the good news of justice of Jesus Christ to all the corners of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations. May God write upon their hearts the face of all commandments as they guide their people in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the prisoners, for the persons incarcerated wrongly, and for political prisoners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our community, especially those who send their prayers and petitions. And those who are experiencing doubt, may the, Lord, may the Lord's grace enkindle hearts of steadfastness and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, especially to this uh, pandemic. May they soon meet God face to face and live in his kingdom forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers and petitions sent to the shrine and for the intention of the missionary, Obrets Associates, this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and justice, you have shown us that you honor all covenants and keep all promises. Hear the prayers we lift to you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of your own hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries which we save through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister unto you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Apostolic Administrator, Michael, our Bishop-elect, and Stanley, our Bishop in residence, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us a peace. Let us receive your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring you to judgment, but condemnation, but through your love and mercy, with your protection, my entire body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let the body of Christ keep me safe from eternal life. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God, the Father, bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us call in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day and God bless you.